So this is my banishment tank. This is where the banished mosquito fish resides, um, as well as some culled live bearers. There's a platy that kind of, there it is. Any live bearers that have crooked spines end up in here. And I even, one of my tanks has some hair algae. I pulled out a clump of hair algae and threw that in here. And I pulled out all this java moss too that had a, lots of hair algae on it. But now, noticing it, it looks to be clear of hair algae. Interesting. I haven't even noticed that until now. So yeah, maybe, maybe any plants with hell, hair algae can take a bath in this tank and I can clean it up. Who knows? So maybe they're just, I don't feed this tank very often. So maybe this, maybe the occupants have been hungry and ate it. I don't know. That could be a possibility. Well, anyway, I'm showing this tank because I just noticed, where is it? Right here is the carcass of a dead fish. It would be one of the platies. When I first saw it, I was thinking that the mosquito fish died. And I was actually a little happy about that because I do not like this fish. And it got me to thinking um, of the kill one, save one, breed one hypothetical um, question where, you know, Cory of Aquarium Co-op asked that question and I know Flynn or Flynn's fish form has posed that question. You know, it's a hypothetical where if you could kill one fish in your possession, what would it be? And for me, that would be easy. It would be this mosquito fish. I guess it would be, you know, one, not just one lone individual fish, but of all that species and you could never have them again. Um, but this is the one and only mosquito fish that I have. And it would not, you know, I can't actually kill it. I couldn't kill a fish, you know, unless I was going to euthanize one that was, you know, if it was sick or going to die and suffering anyway. But instead of killing it, I just banished it. So it's just gonna, not like partic not really taking care of it. So I only put food in this tank every, you know, maybe twice a week. And I don't even really spend time looking at it. Like I didn't even know that there was a dead, and it's like not freshly dead. It, you know, at least a few days. It's rotting. I got to remove that. But yeah, like I said, it was. It got me to thinking of that hypothetical. So the mosquito fish for sure would be my kill one. And I did mention this tank once before um, and went into more detail of how I obtained this mosquito fish. It was sold to me mistakenly as a guppy. I thought it was like a, a just a plain or a wild guppy. But it turns out, I found out later that it is a mosquito fish. Well, yeah, that would be my kill one. But then, like, so the next would be to save one. And the save one is essentially um, like a, a fish that's near extinction or extinct in the wild or something like that. But I guess, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fish going extinct. I mean, any, 
any species on the planet could go extinct. So if you could save one to prevent it from ever going extinct. But I guess what comes to mind for me would be Liberty Mollies. Um, I've never seen them in any fish store, so I'm thinking, you know, my way of thinking to save one would be to save it from disappearing from hobbyists, I guess. Um, I've never, I love live bearers and I've never kept mollies. I've never really had interest in the mollies that, you know, fish stores typically have or, you know, Petco's or Pet Smarts. But when I saw the Liberty mollies from Aquarium Co-op and that Flynn, Flynn's Fish Farm have, even though they're kind of plain looking, I really like those dorsal fins, the color pad on those dorsal fins. And if I was going to keep a molly, that would be my choice. So that's, that's what I would save. And if I was going to breed one, I would breed Autosynclus. That comes to mind because pretty recently, I had a dream where I had baby autosynclus. They, I had a dream that I found that the autosynclus I have in my 30 gallon tank had babies and there were little autos swimming around and it was just that, that, that image in my head from that dream was pretty cool.